evening, Grouch of the Baptist Church Middle School. Today we are going to be talking about the writing process. So, say for example, you want to write an essay for, let's say, I would like to write an essay for Miss Sir Sinclair's class. It could be about anything, but I don't know where to start. So, it is, so, when you write about anything, it is always good to pick a topic that you are most likely familiar with. It's actually very important. So, say I decide to write about Oh, let's say, putting up the Christmas tree at Grouch City Hospital. Now that I have my topic, the pre-writing begins. You, when you, so, this is where you collect your ideas and make some notes. This is a step pre-writing. So, you, sometimes you can use a bubble map, maybe. Or any China flow chart. But here is the most important things. After you do your bubble map, here's an example. I'll show you an example. The next part of this. But remember I said I was going to show you an example, however. So, here is an example of a bubble map filled out to the brim. So as we continue, of course you can see dogs. So this is a bubble map about dogs. You can see they are hairy, intelligent, multi-skilled, friendly. There are many breeds of them. They're keen senses and they're carnivorous and they're courageous. So this will be the thought process if you wanted to write an essay for dogs. So after you plan, you draft. So now you're going to write a draft of your essay. So, it's like saying, after you do the drafting, then you read over it to make sure you revise it. So like say if you see the word, a mess. You could say, you could even say the word could be, disastrous or if you see somebody acting like like you see somebody cussing out a teacher or something like that you don't say the person's acting like an idiot in formal writing you will say the person is being rude and disrespectful after you revise and edit you publish it once you publish it that's the final final part of your writing. Sometimes people might publish and uh, then what happens is they have to revise again. So there's a map that you have, there's a flow chart that you have to follow. You have edit, I mean you have planning, draft, revise and edit, and then publish. Sometimes you have to go back to revise and edit. So, now that we know the writing process, let's move to our next part of our writing stage. So now the next part of our essay will be the five paragraph essay. So, you have to have a topic. The topic may be assigned by a teacher or you might get to choose it. So say the essays on mice of men. So, here is the truth. Amen. The first five, the first paragraph in the five paragraph is called the introduction essay. This paragraph tells the reader about what it is. It's where you want to grab the reader's interest so it has to be strong. Your introduction needs to include a thesis statement. This is your opinion in the writing. My thesis statement is loneliness is a central theme throughout the book of Mice and Men. So, it's very direct that you have to do it. 
directly and straightforward, meaning that you cannot be too, too biased. And now you have to be able to prove what your opinion is, and you have to be able to support it. So now you need to outline in paragraph two, three, and four. You expand on your three subtopics. So now you'll have three subtopics that's in the introduction. Then you'll explain those into the body of the paragraph. So let's say, for example, you have let's say school is very important. In the introduction, you write. School is important because it gives kids a chance to learn. It helps keep students off the street, and it provides more jobs for the community. In each of those paragraphs, I will take those three points out and separate them. This way, it'll be more direct. Direct. The fifth paragraph will be your conclusion. Your last paragraph, I mean. So it's a lot like the intro, except it be stronger to leave you something to think about. Kind of like this song you hear in the background. So you have to make it clear. That is how you do a five-paragraph essay. I hope you enjoy your video. If you like it. I'll see you later. Thank you for watching Gratchet Baptist Church Middle School.